Yes, guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. No live stream for today because there's just not really a lot to discuss. But there is some transfer rumours to get into on the road to Chelsea versus Sheffield United. I don't think I've ever been more concerned about a game against Sheffield United before this season. But here we are. Here we are. Here I am shitting myself about facing Chris Wilder. And a Sheffield United team on set pieces and crosses because I know how crap we are when it comes to facing that. Or to just playing football in general. We're sitting in 12th, joint 14th. We have to win. And if we don't win, I need an announcement out of the Tannoys at full time saying Mauricio Pochettino has been sacked with immediate effect. To be honest, they already need to be looking for a manager. But that, that's besides the point. We're not here to talk about Pochettino. In spite of how easy it would be for me to just go on a 10-minute rant about Poch again, we're here to talk transfers. We're going to talk transfers. So big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that crap. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. And another clear-out might be on the cards. Yet another clear-out, another busy transfer window. I'm sure all Chelsea fans, I'm definitely sure all content creators are going to be looking forward to that one. Busy, busy month ahead. But Chelsea are ready to sanction the departure of several players to help fund their January transfer transfer plans. And we're going to be talking about each player individually. Talk about the likelihood of them leaving. Obviously, we know the idea is to bring in a striker. I, I did see some sources talking about how Poch wants a ball-playing centre-back and a creative midfielder. Like, what? I hope that's not true because we already have both of those. We literally have Cole Palmer and Enzo Fernandez who can create through the middle. We have Levi Colwell who can play out the back. We have De Sassi who can play out the back. We have Badia Shiel who can play out the back. We have Thiago Silva who can play out the back. So I, I don't get why we need that. If there's anybody that's suspect at playing out the back, it's probably the goalkeeper, if anybody. But yeah, yeah, I don't really get those rumours, but I do get the striker part. I've got no issue with Poch asking for a striker. I've got no issue with anybody saying we need a forward. Because we do. That attack is the only thing that's inexperienced. Everything else we can work with. Everything else we can build around. Our midfield is much better than 12th place. Our defence is way better. Way better than 12th place. And we need to be doing a lot better than that. But we're here. We're here. But yeah, we're going to get, see a few players leaving. Trevor Chalaber is the first name on the list. And I understand that. He's not going to get any game time here. He is our fifth choice centre-back. He's been injured all season anyway. So he hasn't had the opportunity to even be up for grabs. But with five um, defenders at the squad and one game a week, he's not getting any game time. So if any club wants him, go for it. My only thing is, Chalaba is not leaving to join a team that's out of Europe. So you do have to bear that one in mind. Also, you kind of have to lower the transfer valuation for him. Like, yeah, he's homegrown and everything, but he's a fifth-choice centre-back that's gone through a long, long layoff. No match sharpness, no match fitness, no nothing. He is not going to get sold for 50 million. You are going to have to lower that to about 35 30, 35, something around that mark. You get that and you can probably sell him. Big up to Trev. Great squad player. He's produced a lot of good games for us, but writing's on the wall. I am not going to die on the Trevor Chalaber Hill, like I've said numerous times. I rate him. I think he'd be a good squad player, but it's not going to happen. And we, and we need straight profit on the FFP books. Apparently, we need to balance the books a little bit on FFP, which is why we're looking to get rid of the Cobham grads again. So, Trevor Chalaber first out the door. Ian Matson could be another one. There's rumours of Borussia Dortmund showing interest in him. I think there was something about Man City a few weeks ago. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do remember seeing that. Matson's had barely any game time. We use him as, like, one utility option. If you wanna if you wanna play someone in the cam for 10, 15 minutes, you throw Matson in. Same thing with right wing, left wing, left back. Don't think we played him at right back, left, but we tried him everywhere and it just don't really work out. Partly because we need to just commit him to a position. Now he's mainly a left wing back, but we don't play with a back five, so that's not going to suit him anyway. He's not really a left back. 
doesn't really seem to have the physicality in him for that. He seems a bit better going forward. So you'd rather have him in the wing positions. And we're already cramped for wingers. So I could see Matson leaving, potentially. Um, could probably get around 30 million for him as well. Just based off potential and everything. Hell, I could see Burnley come back in for him. Just send him back there where he's comfortable. It's a shame because I do think Matson is going to be one of those players who does really well wherever he goes. But beggars can't be choosers. And when you've got one game a week, a lot of players are going to struggle as a result of that. So it is what it is on Matson. Matt Wakey was another game that got another, uh, uh, another name that got brought up. To, uh, uh, who could be leaving. But I don't think he should leave. Not on a permanent. I'd loan him. He's the first one that I'd send out on loan. But that's about it. Like I don't think Matt Wakey's been given enough opportunities. I do see the potential in him. He's a very physical forward. Great dribbler. Bit fearless in him. Likes to drive at players. End product's a bit here or there. But we haven't seen him have a run of starts. I would loan him. I would loan him just because, again, there's not a lot of options for him in terms of game time. When you're looking at the right-hand side, there's already Sterling, there's already Palmer. When you're looking at the left-hand side, there's already Sterling, there's already Mudrick. There might even be a potential to put Nkuku there as well. You could even put Jackson there as well if you wanted to. There's just not really a pathway for him right now. He's another one that's being held back by the fact that we're not in Europe. And it's just killing him. It's killing a lot of these youth players. Like if, if we were just even in the conference league, we could just throw that competition to all the youth players. Your, your Matsons, your Madwakis, your Brogers, all of these men, your Ugo Chukwus, Petrovic's, all of you just... There you go. That's your competition. You do your thing. Um, gain some experience. If you're really ball out in this competition, we might give you a run in the first team. It's the first team as if you lot stink it out. He might put you in the Conference League squad. It could be just as easy as that. But we're all, we're not in Europe. You've got one game a week. So a lot of people are suffering as a result of that. But yeah, Madwaki, eight-year contract. I don't expect him to go anywhere. I'd expect a loan, if anything. And I think a loan is fair for him. Now the big one, Conor Gallagher. Rumoured to be leaving with 18 months left on his deal. A reported reluctance from him to sign an eight-year contract. Which I'm a little bit surprised by. Because I thought Gallagher would want to be here for the long term. Now, it is only a source. So I'm not going to jump to conclusions off it. I need to hear a lot more sources say that before I really believe it. But it doesn't really matter anyway. We could get a good $55 million for him. We could get the same amount that we sold Mountain Havertz for. And if we can get that, and if Tottenham or any other club offers that, peace. Adios. I think he's a decent squad player. He has improved this season. But he's not really the sort of player that I'm going to die on the hill of either. Like, if Gallagher wants to leave, bye-bye. If Chelsea get a good enough offer for Gallagher, bye-bye. This whole notion that he's been one of our best players this season is, is just insane. It's very insane to me because I, I just don't understand that. How it's not Cole Palmer or Sterling... Or even a Gusto or a De Sassi. Or I'd even say a Caicedo over a Gallagher. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But whatever. But he has improved. I will say that. I'm not going to completely rip on him. But if if we end up needing to get rid of him. Brilliant. 55k straight on the book. Straight profit. Go for it. I totally get it. He could be a good squad player for us. But one man's trash. Another man's treasure. You already know the vibes on that one. Cucurella was another name. Chelsea could potentially still be open to him leaving under the right circumstances, but why should you let Cucurella and Matson go? I don't really get that. So I don't think Cucurella would leave. You'd have to get a big, big amount of money offered for him, which I just don't think we're going to get right now. Cucurella seems comfortable at Chelsea. Plus, he provides versatility. When are you going to have a player that can play left back and right back? You ain't had that since Asby days. Well, peak Asby days. No, not the corpse of Aspi that we saw in the last few years. But I don't see Cucurella leaving. I don't see any team realistically coming in for him. Um, I think Cucurella rejected everything except a one-year loan at Manchester United. So I don't really see him going regardless. But yeah, those are all the players that could potentially be leaving. Now, there was rumours over us monitoring Aaron Ramsdale's lack of game time, but I don't believe that silly load of waffle. Like, if we are going for a goalkeeper, we are going for top three in the world, we are not going for fucking Aaron Ramsdale. We're not doing it. 
we're not doing it. So if you hear any of those rumours, fingers in ears, la 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 I am not listening. I am not listening. Uh, you are not ruining my peace. Well, whatever's left of my peace with these bozo rumours. So I'm not listening to none of that. But out of all those players, I see Chalaba leaving. I see Madwaki going on loan. One of Gallagher or Matson stays. One of them. I think it really just depends on who we get bids for and what's the price tag offered. Like, if we get a bid for Gallagher, he'll leave first. He'll be the first one to go. If we don't get anything near the amount that we want for Gallagher, I could see it being Ian Matson. One of them stays, though. We're not going to get rid of all of them. One of them stays. The whole Brozier talk, Brozier ain't leaving unless we get another striker. It would literally be suicidal. Even if Brozier's not really pulled up any trees, he is not going anywhere. <laughs> Other than that, I don't really remember any other names being linked with potential departures. That's about it. That is about it. So, guys, let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Who would you want to keep out of all of them? That's what I want to know. Because I, I feel like we're calm with seeing Chalaba leave. I feel like we can accept Matson going. Madwaki and Gallagher are both real question marks. Cucurella ain't going nowhere. Let me know which ones you would want to keep. I think that's a real question. But we will be back tomorrow. Chelsea versus Sheffield United preview will be back on the channel. So keep a lookout for that. And yeah, hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. And yeah, we will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Like, subscribe. Um, we're on the road to 50k now. Not the road to 45. I want straight 50k. And then we can start on the road to 100. So keep a lookout for that. And big up people. Subscribe. Up the Chels, and pr in fact, pray for the Chels. Not even up the Chels, just pray for the Chels.